sadly experienced a stroke in November 2019. The doctor expected her to live for maybe two weeks. Hospice nursing, on the other hand, said she could last a long time. Little did we know that she would spend another two and a half years, almost three, in a nursing home. She was probably one of the most visited patients who sadly are confined to a nursing home. And like her sister Marie Krieger always said, I'm glad I had all those kids. <laughs> Her visits is what continued to bring meaning to her life. Yes, it was a long time to faithfully visit her, but between the locals, Monica, Laura, and I, she had a visit most every day. Further complimented by Jer, Connie, and weekly phone calls by Dan, other children, visits from in-laws, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, and others. She was dearly loved. The most wonderful thing about all those visits was her state of mind. As her body continued to deteriorate, leg and arm contractures growing worse, and the ongoing continued loss of her vision, of which was a fact for two years. Despite these hardships, never a complaint or a tear, her mind remained amazingly sharp, even successfully remembering and able to recite Psalm 23. We frequently brought her tweets of treats, <laughs> updated her on family and other interests, Bible time, songs, prayers, which continued to give her much joy. Her visits until the end often closed with Andrea Bocelli. I was hoping we could have had that at the church service, but I guess it didn't work out. But she loved Andrea Bocelli, the Lord's Prayer. We always ended up with, with that particular music. Um, from the Kodak Theater, 
um, and also wonderful prairie songs by Rosemary Simmons. With the exception of last month, the visits were always pleasant, and Mom never complained. We witnessed her struggle worsening, but still not complaining. There were times when we would walk in her room, and she would be pleading with Jesus to take her home while reciting some Bible verses from memory and telling him of her love for him, for Jesus. It was then that we realized that the only thing Mom had left was she could pray. At this point, she was totally debilitated. But her love for the Lord and her ability to recall Bible verses in her dying state occupied and gave her that strength she so badly needed in her waning, waking moments. Jesus was her source and strength. We take comfort in knowing Mom is in heaven. She trusted only in Jesus for her salvation. She understood and believed John 14, 6, what Jesus saith unto him, I am the way and the life, the truth and the life. No one cometh to the Father but by me. She understood God's love for her, but she also understood his warnings of adding anything to his gift of salvation. As we are told in Galatians 1, 6, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there are some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. And then this very stern warning. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse and soberly and repeated again in Galatians 1.9. As we said before, so I say again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than what you have received, let him be accursed. Our mom in her dying weeks was a witness of her singular dependence, devotion and gratitude on Jesus alone for her total salvation. For this we celebrate and we take comfort in knowing she is with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. So you could say our mom passed the test. She never complained or blamed God for her blindness, her severely two contracted legs, her left arm and her useless right arm, her strength, trust and strength her trust, strength, and contented heart were found in Christ. For this we give God praise. Thank you. We are gathered here today as family and life. I am for sure she will be so delighted seeing every one of us here together. Mom loved to sing. Even in the last moments of her life, she loved to ask her visitors to sing and she sang along and believe me she clearly knows every line of her favorite songs. Today today while mom is about to join our Lord, let me request you a few lines of her very, very favorite Christmas song. A uh, silent night. Just a few lines of her. Okay, dig in, Paul. <laughs> 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 
And this is grandma's backyard mm -hmm. and it's so nice. Look at this eggplant. Wow. That's a green boy. Ooh, wow well, cauliflower. Oh, Wow, amazing. You see that the prime guy? Yes. He ran out of there and ran back. <laughs> Boy, is he under pressure. <sighs> Cabbage. Wow. Beans. They really did a good job. Pepino, cucumber. Oh, look at these jeans. Yeah, mom. So big. Grandma, look it up. Grandma, look it up. Grandma, look it up. Patrick, it up. I don't need to break it. Careful. Nice. Yeah, he had not, not on the head. 